Amanda Sirico, 15 years old and already a fencing national champion. It's not a sport you hear most teenagers competing in, but at the DC Fencers Club, there are plenty of fencers young and a little bit older practicing a few times a week. Amanda comes from a family of fencers, starting at five years old. I decided to pick it up just because I wanted to be a lot like my mom and my dad, like most kids do. But uh, I also wanted to be really good at it just so I could learn something new and it was something I could do together and it made me feel like we had quality family time. She's traveled across the U.S. and to Switzerland, France, and Sweden, competing against the best fencers 13 to 17 years old in the world. The biggest and most intense competition can be found at the USA Fencing Summer National Championship. Uh, when you're at a fencing tournament, you see a ton of people and it seems like a huge event because you have a thousand people amongst everyone and then you go outside and no one really knows what fencing is which is pretty amazing but when we're in, in a community together it's nice to see that there are a lot of people in the sport and the sport's still growing. It was at this year's championship that Amanda earned her first gold medal at a national competition. I was really excited every time I'd win about because it was like, okay, I'm moving closer, moving closer. Finally, when I got there, it was like, okay, one more bout. So it's just a, it's a lot of motivation that comes with it, but it's also a lot of excitement. It, it feels like everyone's watching you, but um, I just had to kind of keep my nerves under control and just fence normally, which is harder than it seems, but uh, fencing normally is the key because you fencing like you like to fence. Yeah, once I won, I was just really excited and then it's one of those things where you go to bed at night and you're like, I won today. Janusz Smolenski is the owner of the DC Fencers Club and Amanda's coach. Janusz is from Poland originally, where he worked at one of the top Olympic sports clubs in the country. He sees potential in Amanda, the potential to win gold in even more prestigious competitions. With her talent and with her um, hard work ethics and love of fencing, we are thinking about even gold medals in Olympics. She started training already for that. It's not like we say we go to Olympics in, let's say, six years and um, we do it half a year before. It has to be long, long, long progress. I'm not talking that, I'm not saying that it will happen in six years, so, but our goal is, is, is big. She calls fencing physical chess. It's a mental sport, with the body simultaneously reacting to the opponent's move. You have to tease them into giving you what you want. Other times you're being teased, so it, you have, it's really hard to tell the difference sometimes but it's a lot of fun when you figure out how to trick them into doing things you want them to do. There's intensity, but there's also, I'm gonna say like, it's a very controlled sport to where it's, it's supposed to be sport, sportsman-like, where we shake hands after every bout, we try not to be the meanest people, but it's supposed to be a respectable sport. Nationally, Amanda is ranked third for fencers under 17. She needs to stay there in order to qualify for the Cadet World Team. The next goal on her list, but not the only one. I would like to make the senior team at some point, but I would also like to go to college where there's a good fencing team, as well as just keep progressing. She learns everything very quickly. She puts it to uh, her fencing, uh, it is a big pleasure to work with a with person like, like Amanda. Now it's off to Austria to secure her ranking and her chance at making the cadet world team. Game on.